get it moving. Here we go. Nice wave. Slowly bringing this one down. Guy back. Speeding downwind in a stiff breeze is one of the thrills of sailing. With the help of honed crew, a skipper can ring every possible knot of speed from a boat. There's a little puff, bang is ease, surf down the wave, bang back on, beautiful. But even the best skippers and crews can only make a boat go so fast. They face an ultimate speed limit, the linear relationship called hull speed. Hull speed is the maximum speed a boat will go through the water, theoretically based on the length of the boat. The longer the boat, the faster it will go. And this is a linear function. Creating a boat that can reach the theoretical maximum speed for its length is tricky business, however. Yacht designers like Johnstone must juggle many factors, such as weight, sail area, and hull shape in their effort to design a fast boat. Throughout the design process, Johnstone relies on algebra to help him predict the boat's chances of reaching its hull speed. I'll start with a preliminary design and say, well, I think maybe I need this much sail area, I think I may need this much weight in the keel, etc. And then I'll plug that into my velocity prediction program and I can come up fairly quickly with the parameters of this boat that I'm going to design that's going to be 45 feet long. With the design finished, it's up to skilled craftsmen to transform the calculations into physical reality. Here, workers lay sheets of fiberglass in a precisely contoured hull mold. After it hardens, the hull is carefully broken free of the mold. The resulting shell is strong, light, and mirror smooth, qualities essential if the finished boat will reach its hull speed. The empty shell is filled with galleys, beds, an engine, and everything else needed to make life on board comfortable. Finally, the boat is ready for its maiden voyage. You never really know until you put it in the water and try it out. No matter after all the mathematics and all the computer work and all the rest of it, you really have to go try it. The first boat off the line proved that Johnstone's calculations were correct. It quickly and easily reached its hull speed of about nine knots. It felt sensational. As soon as we hoisted the sails, I mean, you could tell it was going to be a fast boat. When the six of us got off the boat, I think nobody had to say anything to anyone else. Uh, everybody felt real good about the boat. 